Hi, this is Andrea, and today I will share the first spec of the next Sony ZV camera that is going to be announced on March 29. Uh, but before that, please take a couple of seconds just to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button to be sure to not miss any of the upcoming rumors. As you know, I'm working on camera rumors for 14 years now. Most of the time, not always, but most of the time I'm really reliable with my rumors and also I'm most of the time the first to give you the uh, first camera rumors or lens rumors from Sony and other manufacturers. So I would appreciate if you would support my work by subscribing to this channel and I'm sure you would be happy about what's coming uh, next, next on my next videos. Uh, so now to the camera. I told you Sony will announce three cameras uh, between now and before summer. So the first one being the new ZV camera, the second one is some kind of probably niche video centric camera uh, that I still am trying to figure out what exactly it is. And the third camera is definitely the new high-end APS-C photo centric camera. And now I'm going to share you the name of the specs of the next new Sony ZV camera. First of all the camera name is ZV-E. There is no number attached, just ZV-E. And as, like I told you, it will be announced on March 29. And the specs are the following. So the new ZV-E is based on the Sony A7S III. So it has the same 12 megapixel sensor. It has a similar body of the Sony A7C, but it's not an A7C series camera. There will be an A7 II soon after that. So there will be a new full frame A7 II coming. Don't worry more about that in my next videos. Then it has 4K 60 and 4K 120p no crop. It has no pixel binning up to 409k ISO. One source told me it has the same Sony A7 IV autofocus system. Another one told me it has the same Sony A7 R5 autofocus system. Uh, probably they got mixed up, so uh, this is the only part of the specs that I still have to figure out if there was some kind of mistake in the communication. Uh, but definitely there's a new autofocus system, just I don't know which one exactly it will be. It will be cheaper than the E7S III that currently sells for more than $3,000, so the price will be below $3,000. The source didn't mention that aspect, but I'm pretty sure it will have a fully articulating screen, which is the whole point of having a ZV styled vlogger focused camera. So this is it for now when it comes to reliable confirmed specs about this camera. If I get more info and maybe even images of the camera, I will post them on this channel. So again, one more reason to subscribe it. And like I told you before, there is many more to come from Sony, not only that uh, video centric e-mount camera, but also the Sony APC high-end uh, camera, which is hopefully kind of going to revive the APS-C e-mount system. And there will be also new lenses. I hope the 1635 GM2 is finally coming. And also I hope that the one Sony manager that told us about the 85 1.2 GM uh, coming within the next three months is also right and he wasn't fooling us. And there I also heard about uh, some lenses that are currently existing in the lineup that will be updated. And then of course we have the full, the full frame cameras coming with the A93 and the A72. And probably also one surprise from what I heard, a uh, major surprise. And about that also we'll tell you more on this channel soon. And I will also take the chance to thank the, thank the sources for the trust. Um, I do this work for 14 years, so we had time to build up the trust and that's how everything works flawlessly. If you have some rumors to share, you can contact me at sonyalfarumors at gmail.com. This is it for today. Uh, I will see you very soon for new rumors and new specs about upcoming cameras and lenses. Bye.